We're gonna take this guy to school. <laughs> right? Going to school? Going to school, going to school, going to school. I'm going to school, I'm going to school. <laughs> Good song. <laughs>
swarms. I mean, they can, don't get me wrong. I remember fishing a tournament and we were hitting like points and stuff like that. And it was a windy day. I think it was pretty close to fall. It was the end of summer. I was tossing out a jerk bait and we were getting fish after fish after fish. In fact, we one time hit this little island point and that was exactly what happened. Fish after fish after fish. And this month they had something written there that I think really kind of hits it. And it, it was talking about recent, uh, recent tournaments where like, for an example, uh, in recent uh, installment, for example, Tennessee Pro Brandon Cutler's five best bass weighed a hefty 24 pounds, 11 ounces, and his limit was anchored by a photogenic 7-Eleven largemouth that plastered his topwater plug boat side. But then it goes on to say, you know, but for a few unlucky pros, pros, remember, uh, their days and lakes on lake outing turned into a humiliating seven hour exercise in humility. Okay, so he's starting the day at 638. He doesn't catch his first bass until roughly about 10 after seven. So, I mean, half an hour worth of fishing before he even catches his first bass. And his first bass is a 10 inch largemouth. So that's not even enough to put in your well. So it's just a little dink. Now his first actual keeper bass is at 8.35 a.m. It was done with a finesse rig. So he's fished all day. It's been two hours. He's been seeing a little bit of activity, but he doesn't really catch anything until what? Two hours in, right? And I think that that right there, I mean, I could go through this whole story, but I think that kind of proves the point right there. This guy is moving around quite a bit um, he's throwing all kinds of baits. It's only been two hours, right? But in two hours, he's throwing a jig, he's throwing a jerk bait, he's throwing a deep water jerk bait. Now he's throwing, uh, you know, some finesse stuff. Uh, he's throwing bladed jig and now he's throwing a worm. So in two hours, that's a ton of baits that he's throwing around into all kinds of places. And so that right there, when I went out for the first time with the Barry Bassmasters and started doing their tournaments, it was really, it was an eye opener to see these guys doing the same thing. They'd be throwing a whole bunch of baits and it can be hours in between your catches. And I'll be honest with you, the first time that I started doing this tournament thing, I just thought they were being lucky, right? I mean, oh, look, this guy would catch a bass and he'd be trying so many different baits in like the same location. And it wouldn't be for long periods of time either. I mean, he'd throw, what, two or three casts with a type of bait and then he'd change it up, throw it another two or three casts and change it up. And and it just kind of felt like these guys were catching them by fluke. But now as I kind of go through and I replay everything in my head and I ask myself that question, which is kind of the reason why I want to do this video, just, it really is just kind of trial and error. You'll never know what the fish want. You might get lucky, but you never really know what the fish want. So my answer for that question is fish that spot until you feel comfortable that you fished that spot thoroughly, then move on. But I would like to know what you guys think. If you guys are fishing a spot, how long do you guys fish it for before you decide, you know what? I think it's time to move or the fish aren't biting or the weather sucks or just whatever. How long do you guys wait? But that's really it for me. I don't really have anything else. I just want you guys to know as beginner fishermen that it can take a long time. And when you're out there with other people and they're catching them a little bit better than you, don't give up. Just, just keep going because it is going to take you longer than it takes guys that have been fishing all their lives or have fished that lake, you know, 10 times this week, you know, you, you just don't know. So just don't give up. Keep trying, try different things. And the fish will come if they're in that area. I, I yeah, I don't know how else to, to motivate and support you guys, but I just want you to know to keep trying. Don't give up. Don't get frustrated. Just try everything in your tackle box if you have to. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you want to see some more videos. And what I'll try and do is put these little vlog things in some sort of a playlist. And you can find them kind of maybe right over there. <laughs> anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.